In this session, let's see how we can create the stubs. In other words, we want to create a JSON file which contains request and response. So basically in the previous session, we saw how to run the Wiremox server, but we also saw that it does not have any mappings inside the mappings folder. We currently do not have any mapping. So we need to provide that particular combination of request and response so that whenever we make a particular request, Wiremox can respond with whatever specified response that we have already told Wiremox to do. Okay, so this process is called as stubbing and all we need to do is create a JSON file uh, with the expected request and response and add it to this mappings folder over here. So what we have currently, we have a Wiremox folder somewhere on our system. In that folder, we have the Wiremox jar file, a mappings folder and files. So ignore files folder for now. We will see it in the next session. In this particular session, we'll see what is the significance of this mappings folder and how we can create the mappings, also called as stubs. Okay, so let's simply create a JSON. I'm going to use uh, this Eclipse editor to create JSON file. You can use any editor. It's just convenient for me to use Eclipse editor, so I'm using it. So I'm just going to create a new file. I'm going to call it as stub1.json. And again, you can give any name. And basically it's a simple JSON file that contains request and response. So the beginning will be request. Now this will be your request specification. So what is your request? What is the method of your request? It's a get method or put method, whatever. So in this case, let's simply do a get method. So I'm saying method as get and also we need to specify what is the endpoint so that will be specified by using URL so we'll say URL will be something and we don't need to specify the whole URL obviously it will change according to where you are running the Wiremox server currently I'm running it on local so it'll be local host and the port so for example 8080 if you are running it on some server on prem or on cloud it'll be a different url so all we need to do over here is provide the endpoint now in this case as we are doing it mock we can create any endpoint let's say whatsapp okay whatsapp something like this and that's it so what i'm saying is hey wire mock if anyone queries with a get request to this endpoint respond with this particular response which we are going to create it over here okay so the response would be the beginning is status we can provide the status code like 200 400 what is the status so in this hey there thanks for watching this video please do check out our full courses on coding and automation links are given in the description case we are telling wiremock to respond with status as 200 and then let's say we want to specify something in the body of the response so we can specify body something like this hey i'm just adding a simple line and let's say we need to add a header so we can create headers and over here we can add multiple headers for now i'm just going to add a content type and that would be in this case a simple text so it will be text plain okay and that's my simple json that i'm going to use what it is saying for this particular request for wiremock it should send this particular response now when we are creating this for a project obviously we'll get these details from the developers and then we'll create this sub so for a particular expected request whatever is the expected response we'll put it over here
it can be complex i'm just creating a very simple request and a simple response you can add all different types of headers and stuff okay just to begin with we are doing this a simple request and response combination now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this stub one and paste it inside this mappings so that file should be over here inside the mappings so what i've done inside this mappings folder i have created uh, i have just copy pasted that stub json file and that's it we can go ahead and run the server i'm already cd into the varmock folder so all we need to do is java jar varmock that particular jar file and simply hit enter okay we are running varmock by default on 8080 let's go to postman and let's just hit this admin endpoint to check whether it's up and running yes it's up and running and now we can see we have a mapping that it is returning you know in the previous session when we run this endpoint when we hit this admin endpoint it was it was obviously giving 200 okay but it was not showing any mappings because there weren't any mappings okay and it says meta total is one that is saying we currently have one mapping in the mappings folder okay now let's go ahead and try to hit this whatsapp url so let's open up another one http local host and over here let's see whatsapp i think we just have a single s over here okay so this particular url Okay, so we are selecting get request. We are hitting this WhatsApp URL or WhatsApp endpoint that we created. And as soon as we send that get request, we got a response 200 okay. And in the body of the response, which is text, it is saying, hey, this is a mock response, which is exactly what we expect, which is exactly what we asked Warmock to do. Okay, as simple as that currently we are running it on the local host that's why we are using this local host 8080 as the base uri uh, in your case if you're running this wimox server on a cloud server or any on-prem server you will use that particular base uri only that is the difference everything else would be same hi this video was part of full step by step course on rest api automation if you want to enroll in the course then please check out the links in the description